on October 22nd, my life just changed forever. My seven-year-old daughter was sexually assaulted by her stepfather. I became confused and concerned when she started talking about George being in the shower with her. I began asking her questions. Were you wearing anything or were you naked? And she said, naked. Then I said, did George touch your private parts? She told me, I can't tell you, it's a secret. I told her I need to know the truth right now. And she said, yes, he tickled my private part. Did you touch George's private part? And she said, yes, he asked me to tickle his private part. I knew something was very, very wrong. That's exactly why I took her to the police station. The detective asked my daughter, would it be okay if you came into this room? Because I want to talk to you. My daughter said, I guess that's okay. And the detective came out and said, this happened and it's worse than you think. I started crying. <sighs> I was just screaming. Two days after, the detective called me to tell me George was gonna be arrested. On September 11th, 2013, my daughter was the first witness in George's trial. She was extremely nervous. When the judge read the first count and said guilty, George's head just dropped. And then the judge read the second guilty and that one registered to me that he didn't get away with this, that my kids are gonna be safe. George started sobbing. I felt angry because I felt he was only crying for himself. He had shown no feelings towards my daughter or myself during this whole time. The only reaction coming from George's parents was that they were supporting him. They choose to be blind. They flat out refuse to even acknowledge all the terrible things that George admitted to. And so they've started this attack against me. You believe for certain that this happened? Absolutely. I absolutely know no, this No happened. doubt in your mind? None. Um, because he denies this fully and completely, correct? Yes, he does. How did you find out about this? You, you were working night shift, right? Correct. You, you came home and the right clothes weren't in the right place. I came home about 1.30 in the morning and went to bed. And when my daughter woke up for school the next morning, she came out of her room dressed, but not in the outfit that I laid out for her. So I went into her bathroom and looked for it. And it wasn't on the floor where it would have been. And so I went back to her and I said, where is this outfit? If you wore it yesterday, why isn't it in your bathroom? And she said, because I showered in your shower. And she's never done that before. There's no reason for her to. Okay. Why did you take a shower in my bathroom? Because I took a shower with George. I said, did you take a shower with George in the shower? Or George was in the bathroom while you took a shower? There was a difference. And she said, with George. Were you wearing anything or were you naked? She said, naked. I said, was George wearing anything? No, he was naked too. Honey, did George touch you at all? And she said, well, he gave me a hug. I said, okay. But honey, did George touch your private part? And she said, well, yes, he tickled my private part. I said, did George ask you to, or did you <clears throat> tickle his private part? And she said, I can't tell you, it's a secret. And she buried her head in the pillow. You need to tell me the truth right now. Did you touch George's private part? And she said, well, yes, he asked me to tickle his private part. What would cause you to say, did he touch you inappropriately? Why, why would your mind go there? Because he was taking a shower with a seven-year-old little girl naked. Uh -huh. That in itself, to me, is absolutely wrong. And did you confront George about this? No. You just called the police? I took my daughter to the police station. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.